Let's take a look at this example from your notes. It says show that the equation 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared equals 8x minus 24z plus 1 represents a sphere and then find its center and radius. Well, right now it doesn't really look much like a sphere except for the fact that it does have an x squared and a y squared and a z squared, which many times we associate with a sphere, especially since all three of those terms are positive. But if we're going to show that it's a sphere, and not only that, but find its center and radius, what we really need to do is we need to figure out a way to get it in this form up here that we talked about in class, the x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, so on. So you may or may not have done something like this, but what we're going to need to do is complete the square. And the big thing about completing the square is we need to get all the terms that do not, that aren't constants on one side. So we need to get all the x's and the z's, basically this 8x and this negative 24z, we need to get that to the left hand side. So let me re go ahead and rewrite our equation. We have 2x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z squared equals 8x minus 24z plus 1. All right. So, as I alluded to earlier, we need to go ahead and be able to get these two terms here to the other side. So we need to subtract 8x over and we need to um, add 24z to the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and write the x's and the z's together. So when I do this, this looks like 2x squared minus 8x plus 2y squared plus 2z squared now this negative 24z goes over, so that's plus 24z and equals 1. Okay, and here's where the completing the square part comes in. If you haven't done this before, um, this will be new to you. So if I go ahead and look at these first two terms here, first thing I want to notice is that there is a two that is common to both of those. So I can go ahead and pull a two out. And when I pull two out, it looks like this. I'm going to leave a little space here at the end. Okay, but so we have two times the quantity x squared minus four x plus something. Now to complete the square, let's go ahead and make a little note on the side here. We want to complete square. So for this first one, the way you complete the square is you take negative 4 and you divide it by 2. When you divide it by 2 it becomes negative 2. It's divided by 2. And then you square it. You raise it to the second power. And when you raise it to the second power it becomes positive 4. So that's what I may need to do here. I need to add Four to complete the square. Y squared we will not be completing the square on, so let me go ahead and rewrite that. 2y squared, but we also need to complete the square on the z's because we have two terms there. So again, if we pull out a 2, we have plus 2 times the quantity z squared plus 12z plus something. I'm going to leave some space in there. And we're going to do the same process we did for the for the x's. We're going to take our 12, our middle term. And the last one we took our middle term with negative 4. And this one we take our middle term, which is 12. We divide it by 2. It becomes 6. And then we square it. It becomes 36. So I'm going to go ahead and add 36 here. Now, one of the things we know about equations is that we can't just arbitrarily add something to one side unless we do what? Unless we also add the same thing to the other side. So here, if I add plus 4, I got to do something similar to the right-hand side to balance out the equation. And, but I didn't actually add 4 here. How much did I add? I added 2 times 4, which is 8. So we need to go ahead and add 8 here to coincide with that guy. 
And then we need to go ahead and add how much for this part. Well, not 36, but 2 times 36, which is 72. Okay, so let's clean things up now a little bit. On the left-hand side, we have 2 times the quantity. Now, because it's a perfect square, we can now factor it. This is x minus 2, quantity squared. And we have plus 2y squared. And then again, with the z's, we can factor. This is 2 times the quantity z plus 6, quantity squared, equals 81. Okay, and we're almost to the place we need. If we, again, compare to our form that we have, one thing that's different about this in the form of a circle is that we have these extra twos out front. So, how could we get rid of the twos? Well, we just divide everything by two. So, when I divide everything by two, that's going to give me x minus two squared plus y squared plus z plus 6 squared equals 81 over 2. This kind of makes our radius ugly, but... If you look at the form of a sphere that we calculated above, this is obviously in that form. So this is a sphere with radius equal to 9 over square root 2, and then the center Remember the coordinates for the center, the x, y, and z coordinates are the opposite of what we see here. So the x coordinate would be positive 2, y coordinate is 0, and the z coordinate is negative 6. Thank you.